Actually, at the moment, we don't know if we still have our apartment, if uh, we still have our car, or we, if we still have the place to go back. We are really lucky that uh, our friend could uh, bring us children through the whole Ukraine because uh, this uh, army, Russian army, even, even tried to bomb uh, the central stations and the areas near central stations with the people, uh, with the train should go away from this area and they even bombed these uh, areas. They managed somehow to get to this train and to disappear from this I know that the uh, surrounding is destroyed uh, there is uh, no uh, the supermarkets which uh, we could uh, buy something they are destroyed one week ago we contact uh, one lady from our house she said it's still okay but uh, from that time we don't know because uh, exactly on the next day uh, Putin start to bomb uh, that area where we live <laughs> Join the military uh, at the moment. Uh, this is not possible because I don't have a special uh, uh, experience in the military. But uh, there are too many hospitals. There are too many uh, people, old people who didn't manage to go outside from uh, the Kharkov, and uh, they need help. Uh, they need uh, water supply. They need food, which uh, another volunteers uh, cooking, preparing. I don't feel at the moment so safe. I just need to take a rest with the children to show them that they are safe, everything is okay because these last past days they were like in hell. Honestly to say, I was not there. I don't feel this, what they felt. And I will uh, bring them in the good condition first and then we will be safe.